Hi, good morning. Oh, uh, happy Tuesday, Wednesday. All right, in this video, I will talk to you about my wishes. Uh, this is from a note from December 15, 2012. This is actually before I got Baker acted the first time. 270 days ago. These are my wishes. Spouse, please donate the sofa, etc. Please. Because back then I didn't like it that it's it's bulky. Uh, the cats scratch it and destroy it. And more than that, I needed the space because back then I thought I could live with the spouse. And I needed the space so that I could put my weights and my uh, exercise equipment in the living room. But now I understand that that's not going to happen. Um, this particular woman and the first spouse that I had, my first wife, they are very territorial. Now with that being said, would you believe that right now I am in her living room again? She moved me out yesterday. She's going to rent that room uh, because grandma says she's moving out. And this month, grandma only gave this spouse $100 instead of the usual $500. So the spouse is very excited. I'll use the word excited. And the spouse is uh, ready to move move me out she helped me move the bed yesterday she'll help me get my other bed uh, well I'm actually in my son's bed she'll help me get the other one out my son told me this morning that he actually sleeps better in the room with me than here because over here he says he had four dreams three good uh, the first one I, was a, a bad dream but he says that he sleeps better in the other room because over there he can wake up and he's ready to to start his day and today they're late for school but at least I kept the calm I was just <laughs> the spouse said are you gonna stand behind them and I was standing right next to my son or right behind him are you gonna stand behind them all your life and uh, well, yes, I'm going to be right behind him. If I end up in jail just because I'm protecting my son, so be it. Um, oh, but by that, I don't mean that I do something wrong and I end up in jail. By that, I mean that the spouse lies and throws me in jail because I disagree with her. Like she, uh, this morning, she put a hand on him and she put on too much force and he started crying because the hat hit him on the ear and there's a bunch of commotion this morning we're all getting uh, adjusted because uh, grandma got up and so the bathroom situation was uh, well everybody out because it's usually three of us I'm standing right next to my son when he's in the in the bathroom and I do that so that the, um, well, several reasons. One, I like hanging out with my son. But the main reason I stand next to him when he's in the bathroom, like brushing his teeth or stuff like that, is because his sister walks in and she's brushing her hair and she could do something to him. And so I'm, if I'm standing right next to him, she, she'll leave him alone. Uh, do something to him could be like sticking out her tongue or pushing him or something all right so I didn't say anything about my wishes here but just donate the sofa and all right all of these I'll have to make separate videos there are so many uh, what else is going on this morning uh, an update on my mother she, my mother wants to sleep with the dog right 
but she ended up not doing that because because uh, the dog scratches I think we have the, the dog obviously has fleas and so my mom wants me to give a bath to the dog and I've only given one bath in my 40 years to a dog and that was maybe about four weeks ago so I told the spouse to help me out with that and the spouse says can't you even do that alone because you see I like doing things together I don't like doing things alone especially moving this bed that, that that's something I do together all right what else can I say uh, I don't like looking at the family pictures up there I did cover my own picture I would show you but uh, I did cover my own picture with a piece of white paper and it's because I'm really not included in this family. I mean, they, the, the woman here, the spouse, she wants me here for the photograph and to say to people, I have a lovely family and stuff like that. But yet, whatever I say, the spouse says no. So she is starting to be a little bit more flexible. Like seven years ago, I told her to rent the room out and she wouldn't do it. But... Uh, she finally uh, is willing to rent a room. You see, I think differently than most people. Uh, if the Bible says the poor give their money to the rich, then I started thinking about that. And everybody buys a car or pays for electricity. Well, what if you lived without electricity? And what if you lived without a car? Uh or what if you gave up driving you see then we would send a message if enough people do this where nobody could buy a car I mean nobody would buy a car they could but nobody would buy a car then we'd be sending a message to the government to put buses or trolleys or or trains or something all right At least in my life I love my life even especially since I am making an impact my daughter talked to me for at least uh, 10 minutes this morning and for at least how many minutes last night uh, about 20 minutes last night she was talking to me she was saying things like how come I don't have time or she doesn't have time and I told her who has the most time in this house and who has the least and then she says, oh, obviously, mother has the least amount of time, meaning her mother, my spouse. Uh, grandma and you have the most amount of time. And the reason that I, Daniel, have so much time is because I planned it that way. Now, don't get me wrong. I didn't plan it exactly that the wife would be working. I planned so that the wife and I would not have to work. Uh, by renting houses out and by growing sheep and fish and things like that on a farm but the spouse was so inconsiderate and wouldn't listen so I put her to work because there was no other option she didn't want to speak English with me she didn't want to read a book with me so I said okay you leave me no option I'm not gonna work she has to go to work and she doesn't have to go to work really I mean if if she didn't work right now we'd all be homeless but she doesn't really have to work because I've already I, even from this situation I've got plans and I've told her some of the plans but she just she doesn't want to think she doesn't want to think like I told her, your best friend, bring her here, have her live with us. And she says, she has a mother. And I'm like, so what? She has a son. She has two sons. Well, well, technically one. Well, maybe there are more than one. I don't, I don't even know. Okay, I haven't met the lady. <laughs> but 
uh, this is life at 40. We all have our, uh, at 40 you have like these old people for parents. Uh, they're called grandma and grandpa and, and life is difficult when you live with them. Like my mother, she had no problem getting up today. And the first thing she asks is, uh, what's for breakfast? And the spouse says, I didn't make any breakfast. And then the, my mother says, but I smelled, I smelled stuff. <laughs> and I said, yes, but you didn't get up. You didn't get up. So my mother said, where's the bread? And then the spouse says, I saw Daniel with a plate with a bunch of bread in it. And so, yes, I ate it. I mean, nobody, come on now. <laughs> what? I ate the bread with uh, cheese. So grandma is, is not having a good time this morning because she has no breakfast. She had to make her own. I think she made a tortilla with cheese or something like that. Oh, well. All right. Talk to you later on. It's very tough to live with your parents. And the children are tough, but only because the spouse does not let me uh, correct the children. Uh, like yesterday, they were playing basketball, and then my daughter threw a, uh, a screw, a five-inch screw at me. But I heard it hit the floor or hit something that made a clang. And I told the spouse, that's wrong. Uh, I had walked away because I already saw that the, that the girl was uh, yelling and getting angrier. So I just walked away, locked myself in my room. But before that, I heard uh, something flying, uh, hitting the wall or hitting the, hitting the floor. And so I told the spouse this morning, what if she would have hit my son? What if she would have hit me and I get angry and I hit her? You know? Uh, so f today, the spouse talked to the daughter, and I told her, when you come home from school, there's no outside. There is no basketball until your mother gets home. Uh, because I just don't want to deal with her. Uh, I would deal with her, but... Uh, if I deal with her, the, the spouse defends the daughter and says lies about me and throws me in the hospital jail. So that's why I'm not, I choose not to tell the daughter anything. Wow, those cats are really making something. They're making noise in the closet there or in the bathroom. So I told uh, the spouse. I actually told the daughter, the spouse, and the mother, and, and my son, just read your Bible. All right? As Booker T. Washington said, if you have the best education and you are dishonest, then your education is worthless. Go ahead and read Booker T. Washington's book, called character building enjoy your life it's free on librivox you can listen to it